Good morning everyone. Today is another vlog day. It's Saturday and I literally just woke up quite early. Actually, it's like 7.30 on a Saturday. I don't know why that was important to tell you, but anyway. It's Mother's Day tomorrow, so I've got a bit of prep to do today in preparation for tomorrow. So I'm about to make my banana smoothie, which you saw last time how I make, so I'm gonna do that. Hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Let there be light. Frozen bananas. I always use frozen bananas in my smoothies. Oh! oh my God. No. <laughs> Why does this happen to me every time? Oh, oh, thank God. I saved most of it because of this lid. Oh my, honestly, that is not the first time this has happened. Every time I go into any kind of cosmetic store, I always come out with swatches, but look at this highlight. It's a liquid highlight from one of the new Tarte collections. And I'm not a fan of liquid highlights usually, but that's so pretty. I didn't get anything though because I have some self-control, but I did get some other things for like Mother's Day purposes and things I needed and some Splendor things. So I'll show you what I got. For Splendor, I got bandana. I want to make a belt out of bandana. So I got two of those bandanas to possibly make a belt with and I got a red one as well. Those are for Splendor. I said to myself this, this month, I'm not going to buy anything up until Splendor unless it's for Splendor or things that I needed. I also got an eye mask because I literally have been having the worst trouble sleeping. On the weekends I want to have a little bit of a sleep in and I haven't been able to because the sun shines so hard through that window and I literally sleep right there and it shines right into my eyeballs. I also got some colored paper because for birthdays, Mother's Days, Christmases, whatever I need, like a card for someone. I always make them myself. I hate buying pre-made cards because people seriously love receiving handmade cards. I got an oversized shirt that I'm gonna um, distress and like put rips in and things like that. I also got some shoes because I've been looking for shoes like this forever. Plus they're so cute, I couldn't say no and they were only $12. <laughs> That's all I got from the shops. Didn't get anything from Sephora, even though I went in there. Now that is some self-control. We are currently supposed to be going to get food, but Gary is playing FIFA. I'm starving to death. Are you winning your game? No. No? Wow. Where's the heart? There's no heart on that pitch. You disappointed in your players? Every single one of them. You look so angry. <laughs> Fucking, they scored in the 89th minute. I lost 1 0. But it's just, it's just a game. It's not a fucking game! <laughs> so, update on my skin is I feel like they're going down like this spot still but they're just like at that scabby stage um this one was the last one to pop up and I haven't had any new ones popping up since then but um it's actually starting to get better like they're shrinking and they're flattening out now like they're all flat except this one but I've figured that I think my skin is the kind that the less you do to it the better it is so I think what I need to do is just do less with my skincare. I need to focus on keeping my skin really moisturized because I'm finding that my skin has been really dry lately. Hi, oh Jesus Christ. But I'll show you the things I've been using. Ooh, Ooh it's very yellow in here. I've gone back to my Skin Institute products because I just thought I'd try something different since the other stuff wasn't working the way I wanted it to. It did for a bit, but I just thought I'd change it up and see what kind of results I get. First thing, is this Skin Institute Multi Active Mist. 
and it literally just hydrates the hell out of your skin and it feels so good and refreshing especially in the morning the other thing i've been using is the multi-active oil just looks like that and i just use one pump of that at night time and in the morning after i shower and yeah that just really helps moisturize and it actually doesn't leave my skin looking too oily like it does at the beginning but it sinks into the skin really easily which is good and the last thing is this Real You Spot Remover and I just put that all over my troublesome areas which is pretty much fucking everywhere at this point. I've been really liking this. I use this all the time and it's probably one of the best spot treatments that I've used ever. Me and Gary are going to make our Mother's Day cards using this coloured paper and we're going to have a little craft hour. Hey hon. P.S. You mumble a lot. Okay. Gary, what colour do you want? That one? Yeah. And while we do this, we're going to watch a bit of Team America. You knew I liked Gary. I told you. You liked Gary? Oh. Oh, I, I see. Oh, so sad. You get to answer to America. You got your photo? Fuck yeah. I have to show you our masterpieces. Look at Gary's and his drawing of him and his sister. So cute! In my kilt. Yeah, and his kilt. The detailing on this is very impressive, Gary. And then this is mine. So cute! Gary has gone to watch a football game. And so I've got the afternoon to myself. Specifically, I want to try out my new color, my new ColourPop shadows. These ones here on the bottom row. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I did all of my face except for uh, my lips and eyes. I'm gonna share with you a few things that I used for my brows. I went in first with my. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Um, I use my Bookie Brow Powder, which is literally the best powder you can get for your brows. No joke. I used a foundation that's like 10 million shades too dark for me at this point. Oh well. And that is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. It's that one right there. My concealer, I use the Sh uh, Tarte Shape Tape, which is just... The bomb, if you've not used it, then. And for my highlight, I used the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collaboration. And this is Eclipse. Isn't it so pretty? I want to have fun with these colors down here. Just to try them out because I haven't, haven't had a chance to yet. I'm going to go in with the shade Made to Last from Colourpop. A little bit of kickback with these, but that's okay. That doesn't really... As long as they're pigmented, which it looks like they are. They blend really nice too. I barely even touched it and look how blended it is. These are really pigmented shadows. Super easy to blend. Now I'm just going to go in with this shade. It's called Cloud Nine. Not too much, just a little bit in the outer corner and kind of halfway through the crease. I'm just going to use one more shade, which I've been dying to try, if I can get it out. It is called Come and Get It, and it's like an iridescent duochrome. It's so pretty. How pretty is that? There is a bit of fallout, but... Things like that don't really bother me as long as the colours look good on the lid. Hot. Let's see if I can do it in the camera. Oh, no, that's scary. Ooh, yeah. And that is my finished look overall. Those eyeshadows, bomb AF. I think they blend really well. The colours are super pigmented and the, the shades in general are really... Pretty. I'm just all about this makeup look right now. 
I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the night and I may have enough footage for enough vlog for an what? I may have enough footage for a vlog already at this point so I may leave the vlog here because I'm probably just gonna sit in front of the TV watch Netflix and order some food for the rest of the night and that's it. I'm probably gonna do nothing else and that's gonna be really boring to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Do let me know if you're loving these vlogs so far. I really enjoy making them and I think I have really done a good job in making them still beauty based because that's really what I'm all about. What else? I think that's really it and yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.